So now we're going to do the removal on these three toes. We are going to do manual, like sock off method. And on the right ones, we are going to work with the electric nail file. So first thing we need to do is to remove the top coat, which is the gloss top coat from the three toes. Now we will work on these three toes. We will take a cotton pad. We will use a special gel polish remover and the foil to sock them off. And while they will be soaking off, we are going to work on another toes. We're using it by Super Nail. This is uh, basically it's a glue remover, but it works good for the gel polish. Dr. Schultz, she does not recommend to use acetone because you can basically burn the surrounding skin and cuticle. It is recommended to use the special products because they are designed so they will not damage the skin. They, they have special moisturizing agents so they will keep it safe and clean. And you have like guarantee that the skin will not burn and you will not have any problems. If you're using the multiple brands, she really recommends to stick to the one because one line, they design the products so they can work together like the remover, the care products and they are designed so we can, they complement each other. Because when you mix different brands, you can never know how it will work out. So it's just better to have the one line altogether. She uses the largest pusher you can ever find on the toes. We have a straight scalpel from one side, but as you can see, it's pretty thick. It's not really sharp. And the other side is pretty sharp, but still it's not that sharp so I can damage the client or cut uh, the skin. Wait, wait. So we followed the instructions and we waited for a few minutes for our product to sock off from the toes. So once you're switched to another product, do not forget to read the instructions carefully, follow the time that's recommended and also always check the expiration date. I recommend when you open some new product, always um, like stick some mark with the date when you opened it because the uh, lifetime value of the product, well, I mean the expiration time is different when the product is produced and whether you used it first. Right here, you see it says 36 months. Well, maybe you cannot see it, so you have to believe us. So this mark means 36 months. This is how long you can use it since you first opened it. Do not be afraid to use alcohol-based sanitizer because this is really small amount to be used on the client. I mean, do not be afraid to over dry the skin or anything because there are really tiny amount of it. So I'm cleaning the cuticle that's right on the nail plate. I'm using the sharp tool of the pusher now, but as I said, it's not too sharp and I'm not applying too much pressure, so I will not scratch the surface of the nail plate and damage the cuticle or the client. Now we are going to do the removal with electric nail file and this webinar will be all about the classic pedicure, but Can if I you want to learn it? more about the working okay. with the electric nail file, we will have a class later at Nails Pro Academy covering that topic. So this is the carbide drill bit I am using 21,000 rotations per minute speed. This is the blue band, blue abrasive mark of the carbide bit she's using and mostly she uses blue and black because it also depends on the speed and the pressure. We finished gel polish removal and after that we only need to clean toes with the sanitizer and it's finished. Let us know in the comments which method do you prefer, sock off or filing off when removing gel from the toes. If you would like to learn more about dry electric file pedicure, how to use electric nail file, how to choose drill bits and how to clean heels and callus with electric nail file, sign up for our free webinar this Sunday, April 8th at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for joining us and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.